Welcome back to part two of my Evil West playthrough, a game that I consider to be the love child of Red Dead Redemption and God of War. Now, is it as good as Red Dead Redemption and God of War? No, but it's still fun nonetheless. A lot of fun. All right, find the entrance to the underground. I don't know what it is. Video games have a very hard time making horses look legit. Horses in like uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, the Last of Us, they don't even look as good as Red Dead 1 horses, let, as, let alone look as good as Red Dead 2 horses. And then here we go. Here's another example that something looks off about these horses. I mean, call me crazy. Something does not look right about these horses. They have no souls. That's probably what it is. These soulless horses. Oh, but look at this. Interactive tumbleweeds. You don't see that in Red Dead. Oh, I got to take a point off for RDR2. No interactive tumbleweeds. My entire determination of what makes a game great is interactive tumbleweeds or not. So I got to put this game above Red Dead. Come on. Oh, that was a little overdramatic. It wasn't that big of a gap. Wait, am I killing these guys or shooting a target? Oh shit, no, we're shooting these guys. <laughs> I love how they're just eating headshots. Missed me. Missed me. Oh no. Oh my god, that's pretty brutal. I like it. Weak spots. Use the Rentier rifle to shoot glowing weak spots and deal severe damage. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, not only did his arms get shot off, there's bones. You can see his his bones in his rib cage. One big punch. Got through. If the chains are only there to show us where to go, that's kind of overkill. Like, do we really need all of that? We have this thing glowing right here, this thing glowing like through the window, and then another thing glowing on this side. Which way to go? <laughs> Get the airport signal, guys. Ten out of ten on the script. There you go. <laughs> Did I, they all die exactly the same. <laughs> You didn't see what happened to your friends? You insisted on trying it yourself? Both, yeah, both are, you, you, they pull out their gun, you shoot their weak spot, which is just a circle in their chest, and their arms go flying away from their body. Look, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't think that's how torsos work. Investigate the bridge. Last time to Bonham's here somewhere. I got Elden Ring vibes from this. Oh, and you can't even fall. This game definitely holds your hand, but you know, it's fun for what it is. Dead end. A hand holding shooter. Great. Take it off. Mr. Rentier. On a first day. Rentier. Take me far. You're right. Rentier. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. The glamour. I feel like we could have just moved some boards to get back there. Like, I, I don't think all the magic was necessary. It was, it was literally just a few boxes. We could have all three worked together just to move out of the way. We didn't need all the pageantry. Which way to go? I've seen my share of tech architecture, but that 
That's something. Find a way into the temple. Oh man, look at that. Jesse run the hour. I tried the parry. I mean, maybe it's bad that I'm playing this so close to God of War. I feel like I would be way less critical of it if I wasn't in the middle of a God of War playthrough at the same time. All right, level two, new perk. Oh, I didn't even know there was a skill tree. Uh, pump Jack, dealing damage with the gauntlet reduces the cooldown of the healing dispenser. Yeah. I had the reload. I thought there was more of them. Do you follow the story or no? I think there's barely a story. Gotcha. There's a story, but I don't think it's very compelling. Jesus, it's huge. Find the entrance. Well, that's still the objective. It's an updated objective, but it's the same one that we've had. Dude, just knock him all off the cliff. Other way. Again, I, I would just love to see a little bit more variety in the enemies. I feel like we're seeing the same people over and over again. ramped up all right there we go we got a little bit of health right, he's gone one more right all right that should be it Oh, there we go. Now she's open. Enter the temple. Dude, imagine if you could fall off. If we could fall off, I would definitely be rolling my ass right off the edge. Upside down cross, you see that? So evil. The guy looks so familiar. The humans harness the power of steam and lightning and they grow mighty 
If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. Like dogs. Uh. Wars Yo, she looks so pissed. Chance. Permanent bitch face. I told you, father. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. I had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... Then... Force them to! Jesus Christ! Then... We... Force them to! <laughs> Wait, was he standing there the whole time? I heard everything. My precious. <laughs> I'm just ready to fight somebody. We could have ended this cutscene two minutes ago. I understand the assignment. Kick fucking ass. And not die? I need that health. I gotta slide in there. Oh shit. Dude, I took more damage trying to get the health. Than if I would have just stayed back. Get my hands dirty. God, there's so many of them. Oh my God, reload. Health. About halfway, a little over halfway. Rolled right into the fire. Come on. God damn. This should be it. <laughs> How's that taste? I got him, dudes. Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? 
Well, I told you guys, God you of War. Do? That's basically Mimir. That's the Mimir of Evil West. That is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. All right. Is it fun? Yes. Does the combat feel a little repetitive? Also, yes. Am I constantly comparing this to Red Dead and God of War? And it's only hurting the people's hero. My rating of this game. Yes. Does this look like Braithwaite Manor? A little bit. Here, take this to your father before it wakes <sighs> up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded. Is that Ted Rammy? Kind of looks like Ted Rammy in the face. Fine. Skip the presentation. A little bit. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Yeah, it's like if I wasn't such a huge fan of Red Dead and I wasn't currently in a playthrough of God of War Ragnarok, I feel like my opinion of this game would be much higher. Like I wouldn't be nearly as critical. But to go from playing God of War last night to this tonight, it by comparison, it just makes the game look like a huge downgrade. If I'm being honest, very, very basic, very arcadey. You know, it's not super immersive. At ease, boys. My father in his office. But you know, I don't even know how much is it full price. Tell me that it's thirty dollars, sixty dollars, fifty on Steam. <laughs> Shit. I would wait for a sale. I mean, Black Friday's right around the corner. Maybe the price will drop. Forty dollars is where I would put it. Forty max. But again, you know, I'm enjoying it. Oh, officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but cholera. Oh, this is armadillo. It'd be cool if there's a photo mode. I mean, the the costumes, the outfits, everything looks really nice. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <laughs> this isn't about age. Looks like an older job. Dutch. We are on the cusp <laughs> Does of he look like an older Dutch? Great change. Today's Great change, Arthur. Critical. Why must you always make me spoon feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger Jesse. things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. You're I my son, Jesse. Someday soon, you will see it my way. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. I must prepare for my presentation. Is that send someone in here to clean up this mess. Dude's got the infinity gauntlet. Yeah, it's his dad. His dad. Hey, What's dad. Like it wants you to just move on. Skip cinematic. You want that? Yeah, because normally it doesn't say that in any other game unless you like, it'll show the cinematic. And then if you hold down X, it'll show it in the bottom corner, like as you're holding it and then it skips it. But this game is like, hey, the options here. We we don't like it either. We just we just put the cutscenes in because we felt like we had to. But we encourage you not to watch them. Please skip this. You're just in time. It's gambit. Presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Ooh, okay. Uh, use V box to buy weapon upgrades. Use left trigger and right trigger to navigate between weapon categories and buy an upgrade to continue. Do not disturb. Healing is now followed up with a short five second invulnerability. I'll take it. Buy upgrades. Oh, anytime. Oh, okay. I was just thinking, oh, that's cool. We get to come back here and upgrade our, our abilities. Maybe look for new outfits, change our outfit. But apparently we can change our abilities at any time or upgrade at any time. And this is all irrelevant. <laughs> this is all just for the tutorial. You can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. He wasn't too happy about it. 
You can see by looking in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. <laughs> it sounds like he's reading a script. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> Please skip the cutscene. I'm gonna say William Rentier is in cahoots with the bad guy. This is the bad guy. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing. It's gonna be revealed that our father's behind the whole thing. But that, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all. And uh, keep up the good work. Blah blah blah. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it's is that the one we've been wearing, or the one that was in the case? Zapper sends out an electrical impulse. That, that was the one in the case. Glamours forthwith. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste. I don't trust this guy. He's got one of those faces that you don't trust. Glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise. <laughs> there's, there's no way. No way our enemies can surprise us. All right, these look new. These look like new enemies. The Zapper, innovative device created with the RI to disrupt the vampiric illusions worn on the left hand and utilized as a support tool in combat. Thanks to its capabilities to discharge and create an electric arc on demand. Press LB for block. All right, we can actually block. Okay, I didn't block that. Can we try it again? Hit me. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, we can we can tighten that up a little bit. A little sloppy. Christ. One piece. Zesty. Zapper pull. The zapper's electrical arc can pull enemies marked by a lightning bolt symbol. Inside their HP indicator, hold left button and thumbstick to pull the enemy and automatically electrocute it. Right. And pull! And pull. And pull. We'll revisit the pull. Oh, there we go. Okay. I wasn't sure in the distance. This looks pretty cool. Maybe I can string a rope somewhere. All right. What the hell is that? Light bulbs or egg sacks? What? What was that? Did they explode? I'm assuming they explode. I don't I don't know what they do. They don't seem very threatening. Okay, they they cause a little bit of damage. Get over here. That's how it's done. There's like, there's like so many different tools to use. I just gotta get used to which, which buttons to hit at what time. We're, okay, over here. Oh, that was cool. All right. 
That's actually pretty cool against the flying ones. Overall, how good is it? <clears throat> I'm going to say, like, if God of War is a nine, nine and a half, and Red Dead is a 10, in my, in my opinion, and Elden Ring is a nine, I would put this game at a fun five out of 10. It's fun fuckery. Fun ass kicking fuckery. Jess, thank Christ. But there's Where's not much father? to it. Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. You get to it and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. <laughs> that guy seemed way more badass in the trailers. <laughs> he's kind of an he's kind of annoying. I don't know. You're gonna be fine. What the <laughs> what is he doing to his face? I'm no EMT, but I don't think that's how CPR works. Wait, is he gonna do it again? He like slaps him in the face. Up oh, there, there it is, right there. Wake up! I think he's dead. Uh, I got the bubble guts. Please help me! Christ! They put you out of your. I'm gonna find who did this. They put you out of your misery. Can't kill NPCs. Gotta take points off. I give up. I quit. All right, we just solved our first puzzle in Evil West. Zapper dash. Zapper's electrical arc can be used to dash toward an enemy. I, I feel like with enough practice, these attacks can be chained together and be, look pretty, pretty badass. What's he doing? Oh, he's dead. Hang on. He was waiting for me to kill him. Yes. So we can't hold on. Let me let me just get this straight. We couldn't jump that bottom step, but we could jump all the way up here. No, you can't climb that. There's no there's no glowing chain. All right, this definitely reminds me of Total Recall. Total Recall mixed with the many face god temple in in Game of Thrones. Jesus, gotta get out of here. It's gonna blow. Oh. Holy shit, that was. Like one shot, one punch. It's seriously like an arcade shooter where you're just waiting for the, I don't know, like the things to appear. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Hang on. I'm just gonna knock them all off this little platform here. Just put them out of their misery. You're gone. You're gone. Oh, wait, he's back. He's back. Hold on. There you go. All right, we're good. All right, escape the archives. I said escape the archives. There's got to be another way. Oh, here we go. Parkour. Parkour. See, I don't like that sometimes they show that symbol and depending on what the object is, you either tap A or press the right button. And there's times where I see the symbol and I press the wrong one. It's like, 
Dude, that symbol should be associated with one button. What the hell was that? Ah. He's like, now shake my hand. I'm not touching you. Oh shit, there's two of them. Perk point. We got a perk point, guys. We interrupt this fight scene to level up our abilities. Quake Punch, hold LB and RB to jump forward and smash the ground with a damaging blast. Nearby enemies take higher damage and are knocked down. Let's do that one. <laughs> it barely does anything. I can't use my zapper slam. Oh, whatever. Maybe it's limited use. Oh shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Holy shit, look at them. Look at them all. Oh! All right, we got one on the board. Oh, those little things are fucking me up. I'm not even looking at them. The little things on the ground. Dude, I'm getting fucked up. Those little things on the ground are just nonstop. Jesus Christ, man. Like. I'm trying to take out the guys that are producing them, but also trying to fight the other dudes around them. I don't know why I can't do the cannonball attack anymore. constantly by the shit on the ground what the hell they do to Braithwaite Manor I couldn't imagine this on on hard I'm already fucking dead.
Okay. Okay, okay. The game the game's a little different now. Are we good? Oh my god. Okay. What that really ramped up. That really ramped up there. It goes from being all casual, like, yeah, I'm just, you know, just shooting shit and killing things. It, it's there's a lot going on, but it's it's manageable. That was insane. No more tumbleweed soccer. Yeah, that's right. Those days are behind us. Now we've entered the God of War portion of the game. Get him out of here. I got this. <laughs> I got this. All right. All right. He comes out and he's only like two feet tall. Don't be cross with me, father. Oh, it's the girl. Oh, thank God. Perfect timing. And Braithwaite burns again. All right, I would say she's the most badass character in the game so far. So this concludes part two of my Evil West playthrough. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos, especially if you made it this far. Like if you watched the whole thing and you're, you're hearing me say this, and you were that committed to the entire video, please drop a follow, subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be more, <laughs> there's gonna be way more games to watch in the future. And I really appreciate the fact that you stuck around and watched the whole thing. Also, if you wanna see my content early before it's uploaded to YouTube, be sure to follow me over on Twitch where all of my playthroughs come from. I stream everything live over there. So if you want the uncut live stream versions of the games that you see here on YouTube, drop a follow and hang out in the chat and we can have conversations in real time. All right, see you later.